everyone, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and today I am doing an unboxing for something uh, I never thought I would do an unboxing for. It's the ColoGuard at home uh, colon cancer screening test. I'm of that age where I need to be checking for that and need to be aware of that, so my doctor prescribed this for me. It arrived in the mail and the benefits of doing the at-home test is if you pass the screening I guess you could say uh, you don't have to have a colonoscopy uh, for three years so you get it as my doctor phrased it you get a get out of jail free card for three years so I would really don't want to go through that process so I said let's do this so I'm going to uh, tear into this so to speak, and we'll unbox it. I am not gonna go over my experience with it. I know there are some other videos here with it. I will give you some thoughts on the um, on the test kit, and I may even come back at another time and give a follow-up to this. So we're gonna open up the box, and So, the first thing you will notice is that there is some information here. It says don't remove the plastic bag from the box uh, for obvious reasons, and it tells you what's in it. And what's in the box are patient instructions, a bracket that goes over the toilet, a bucket, it's a poop bucket basically, there's a tube for getting a small sample and there's a liquid preservative. You get a set of instructions about labeling your samples. So they have an example here and then you have two labels for labeling it. And you get an instruction booklet in both English and Spanish for how to return your kit. You get this really, well, okay, it's not that chunky because it's also in English and in Spanish. So about half this book, actually I would probably bet that there's more in Spanish than there is in English because, uh, yeah, so there's, holy moly. I'm on, oh, I'm on the Spanish side, that's why. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's instructions on how to do it and what to look out for. There is an expiration date on the test, so you need to be aware of that when you're returning it. Okay, this is a zipper bag. We're gonna unzip it and pull out the contents. So this is the bracket. So this goes, no, it doesn't go there. It goes under the seat of your toilet, so between the porcelain and the plastic seat of your toilet. And that is so that you can place your container in there and not have to uh, worry about aiming. You just gotta align it up underneath your bottom, so to speak. Now, I will say this, I am looking at this container. Uh, I'm gonna have to read through the instructions be because I'm not sure everything's gonna fit. There's a liquid preservative here. It tells you how to store it and things like that. And there is this tube, again, that's got a liquid preservative in it, which you use to uh, collect a micro sample of your larger sample. And that's really it. There's uh, you know, the packing, there's the packing materials in there that also don't come out. I'm looking for the expiration date on this. Okay, yeah, so this doesn't expire till uh, November next year. So I'm in good shape as far as that's concerned. So I'm gonna pack all this back up in here. That's the Cologuard at home test for colon cancer screening. Just know that if you're 45 years or older, your doctor may prescribe this to you. 
and you can avoid a colonoscopy by using one of these at-home test kits. Yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, but I think in the long run, it's not going to be as uncomfortable as a colonoscopy from the horror stories that I've heard from some people. I shouldn't say horror stories. It's just generally uncomfortable. You're not drinking the liquid to drain your large intestine and all that kind of stuff. This is probably a better experience. So until next time, my name is John, your Gen X grandpa, and go get your colon screened. Bye.